He's odd, he's a geek, and he's awesome. You're watching Zanny TV. I'm Zanny, I'm awesome, so are you. Welcome back to the show. You're, of course, watching Zanny TV. I'm your epic and awesome host, Zanny, and uh, this week we're doing a little tour of Windows 11. Um, please ignore in the lower corner down here. This is a evaluation, quote unquote. I'm running this in a virtual machine, as you can see. Uh, that's what the top bar is. So ignore this and ignore the very bottom. Um, this was the easiest way to record this rather than, you know, completely reinstalling my PC and starting from scratch. I'd rather not do that. Anyway, so. This is Windows 11. This is a fresh install. There won't, I don't believe there will be an end user license agreement on the desktop. Ignore that too. There's a couple things to ignore here. We're just getting into the meat and potatoes. Um, a lot of you will be coming from Windows like eight or 10, most likely 10 these days. I, I don't think I know anybody running eight anymore, um, but you never know. There may be somebody running Windows eight. It's a thing, you know, it's a choice, whatever, run what you want, do what you want. I'm not going to poo poo on whatever you're running. If it works for you, great. Just don't poo poo on what I'm running. At any rate. So here we are. This is a base install of windows 11. I had not installed anything else. This is what you're going to get as soon as you install it. Um, of course, my time is off for, for whatever freaking reason. Ignore the time. But the first thing you'll notice is the taskbar. Yeah, um, they decided to, by default, move everything to the center. Don't ask me, I don't know why. Um, this little button over here has your weather. But you get widgets if you signed in with a Microsoft account. I'm not going to get into how you should set your machine up, anything like that. I'm getting into the differences between Windows 10 and 11. At any rate, here we are. So one of the first things you'll notice, or maybe not, this is one of the first things I notice. I, I don't know why. Some of the windows, or most of the windows, are rounded a little bit now. Yeah, it's not a big thing. Um, like I said, the taskbar is now in the center. You can change this if you right click. Oh shit, where is it? <laughs> all right, well, first of all, here's the, I didn't ask, for, go away widgets, I didn't ask for you. Hit start, here's your new start menu. You can pin all sorts of items. This is a quote unquote development environment. Uh, this was created in the uh, Hyper-V Virtual Machine Manager. Uh, your base install of Windows will not have Visual Studio in it. It will probably not have some of these things. Uh, but this is the start menu. You can pin apps. It will start showing recommended apps. Um, if you're logged in as a user, you'll get that here. Um, if you want to get to all your apps, you click on all apps. And then you get your usual list of apps. Things of that nature. Um, it is what it is. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the settings. Uh, this, yeah, as you can see, wind dev. Uh, this is eventually where everything in the control panel is going to go. Um, Microsoft is still working on moving stuff over to here. Um, but you can go through this at your leisure, but I mean, you have your system, basic system settings. Focus Assistant, that's if you get tons of notifications, which I don't. Um, I don't generally play with that much. Power, if you're on a laptop, storage, activation, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Recovery, uh, like Bluetooth, and, Bluetooth and devices, your network and your internet. Uh, does give you some information if you're on a meter connection it'll show you how much data you're using first personalization the very first thing i do 
is I like dark. I don't like light mode. So if you come over here into colors, say dark, bingo, Bob's your uncle. There's dark. Uh, apps, this is set your default apps for all the things. Apps and features. I'm gonna uninstall some of the stuff you don't use. Uh, accounts, that's gonna be if you're using a Windows account. I'll be in the I mean, you could go through this uh, when you get there. Of course, for whatever reason, this window is not rounded. Um, now, if we look at control panel, uh, the start menu is searchable. So you can bring up the start menu and search and it'll bring up some apps. One thing it also does is, well, it brings up a bunch of different web stuff. I, I don't like this. I just want to... <laughs> If I'm in the start menu, I want to start an app. I don't need a bunch of other crap. Uh, on my personal rig, I don't even use the start menu. I have something else I use. Uh, but anyway, let's go. I'll show you the control panel. It still exists. It still looks like the control panel. Um, not worry about color management. Uh, but it still has some of your settings in here. A lot of people don't don't have to go into this that much. See, if you click on your date time, this is where your notifications will show up. Uh, for example, here it's complaining that privacy settings have blocked access to your location. And I'm fine with that because I don't need apps tracking me all over the place. Uh, Windows 11 is very uh, telemetry heavy. You can turn some of that off. Uh, some people don't care, other people do. It's just something you need to be aware of. Click clear all, you got a calendar, you know, the usual, you can, it's a calendar. Um, right click on it, you can adjust the date and time. For whatever reason, it thinks I'm in Pacific. I think it's just the base install. So let's go down here and fix that for Eastern time. It fixes it, boom, we're done. Down there, you can view that. Uh, now, for, as far as the task bar, <laughs> right click on it. Go to taskbar settings. Here's where you can get rid of some of the stuff you don't use. I don't use the search. I don't like the widgets. And chat. Chat is actually Microsoft Teams built into Windows 11. I don't use Microsoft Teams. I only use it for work and that's all I want to use it for. I have no plans or need to use Microsoft Teams outside of work. It's bad enough I have to use it at work. Turn it off, it's it just that. Uh, most of the settings you're gonna want are down here under taskbar behaviors. This is where you can change the alignment back to the left. You can tell it to automatically hide it if you're all about that. Apps, if, if they have supported badges, you can tell it to display that. If you wanna show your desktop, you can select the corner of the thing uh, a couple things they have changed uh, you can no longer move the taskbar it is stuck on the bottom you can't move it to the top you can't move it to the sides it's where it is that's it I hate that they did that I don't like it um, there are a couple of registry hacks that might fix that tried one of them it broke everything. <laughs> Do not recommend. Um, what other settings do people really... Uh, Windows security. I think that's an app. In, yeah, it's an app in and of itself. It'll complain about something here if you don't have it set up. It does come with Windows Defender built in, which is all I really use. As long as you're smart about where you're downloading things and don't click random links, you should be okay there. But if you have an antivirus that you use and you like, stick with it. Like I said, I'm not here to persuade you one way or another. I'm just simply here to show you some of the things that Windows 11 has. Windows update, that's your usual. I'm not doing any Windows updates to this right now, but you click download now. You can tell it to pause. 
Um, one thing to note, I am running, this is Enterprise Edition. I have Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro on my desktop. Windows 11 Home may have different behavior for updates. Um, I don't think it forces you. I could be wrong on that. Um, but at any rate, uh, this is where you handle update. Uh, if you want system information, uh, it's easy enough. Go to your taskbar. You say about, about your PC, and this pops up everything about your machine. You can see I'm running on a Ryzen 5 5600X. VM says I have four gig of memory. That's because that's what I have allocated to it. I would recommend at the very least eight. Uh, my person, the machine this VM is running on has 32 gig. Uh, tells you what edition of Windows, what version, when it was installed. Uh, you can update your product key. Remote desktop, I don't even worry about. But yeah, I mean, as far as application installation goes, all of that's still the same. You download an EXE, like for example, like um, anything. Like you want to want to install Firefox, go install Firefox. Uh, it does have the new Edge browser built in. We're not syncing my data. Uh, I'm not signing into Google. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna say it's it's a browser, you know. People have their preferences on browsers. Again, I'm not here to persuade you to go one way or another. Um, really don't care. It's like you want Firefox, you go to Firefox, download Firefox and go. Installation's the same. A um, Couple other differences. You'll notice that the file explorer is a little different now. Uh, so if, <laughs> one thing, uh, this annoys the shit out of me. I don't know if it'll annoy the shit out of you, but you'll notice like the spacing. Like every, there's more space, but I like, I like compact. I don't want to see the space. Your typical folder options from there, from you know previous windows are here. Tell it to view, how you want to view it. Search, index, all that crap. Um, you'll see the views tile. If you want it back to the way it was, go to view. Compact, much better. You might prefer it with more space. I do not. Uh, in later Windows updates, um, I think the latest Windows 11 update, uh, is they're gonna uh, come with the addition of it. Yeah, I'm, uh, no, I'm, it's fine. It's gonna come, it's gonna update file browser here or windows explorer whatever the hell you want to call it it's going to add tabs so you would be able to open a new tab like say you want to have your like your c drive open in one tab and you want to open downloads on another so you can manage that uh, instead of opening a new window you'd be able to open it in a tab which brings me to another annoyance in windows 11 now if you right click on something used to get a whole nice long context menu. Well, they've hidden some of that now. Now you gotta get on to show more options and then you get the context menu you know and love. There are registry hacks for that. There are ways to fix that. I'm not going into any of that right now. I'm just simply, again, just going over how it is out of the box. You can customize it the way you want to. I'm just showing you what's what's what. Um, but I mean, the usual, it's it's windows <laughs> there's really not the core windows experience is the same it's just an updated version i have been running windows 11 on my machine for uh, pretty much since i built this thing so it's like six or eight months now and it's running fine i stream off of it runs great um i have not run into any blue screen issues i have not run into any hard crashes or things like that it's been a pretty solid OS. Uh, I recently upgraded to it on my work machine and that is running pretty well. That was a whole 
different ball game, but it wasn't really because of Windows. It was more because of work secure. It, it, don't get me started. I want to blow it up. That's all I want to do. I just want to blow it up. I just want to make it go come home. Yeah, so don't get me started on that because, yeah, just don't. It's, it's very bad. Don't do it. It's a trap, you know. I just want to blow it up. That's all. Just blow it up. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for this Windows 11 overview. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at it. Um, again, it's up to you how you want to proceed. If you want to upgrade, I mean, eventually you're going to have to go to it. Uh, Windows 10 is supported until 2025, so you don't have to like jump and run right now. Um, there's nothing stopping you from staying on Windows 10. Uh, I upgraded to Windows 11 because I use um, Windows Subsystem for Linux uh, for some of my uh, development work that I do, um, some of my geeking around I do, uh, and it introduced support for Linux GUI applications, so that's that's been nice. Uh, it also has the Android Subsystem for Windows, which I haven't played around with too much yet. Uh, they basically... You run Android apps on Windows, but you have to get the apps through the Amazon App Store, of all things. Why Amazon? I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. It's a thing. I will, maybe if I will... Yeah, maybe if... Maybe I will go into some of these things if there is interest. Just let me know in the comments section. Or you can uh, ping me at my socials. I'll leave those links in the description of the video. But for now, keep in mind, I am Zanny. I'm awesome. So are you. This has been a look at Windows 11. I hope you have a lovely evening and we'll see you next time.